Hi, this is Kevin at the Sci-Fi Department. I can't get your call because I'm on location for my secret web show. One of the most troubled subgenres of science fiction has always been the superhero parody. However, there's two of them coming out this season. Hancock stars Will Smith as a washed up crime fighter, and Superhero Movie is the latest effort from the makers of Scary Movie 4. We're here at Jim Hanley's Universe to find out what the comic book geeks think. Come on. Has there ever been a successful superhero parody? I don't believe so. Probably not. There have been quite a few unsuccessful ones. What about Condor Man? You gotta give me Condor Man. Never even heard of it. The first feature-length superhero parody was 1980's Condor Man. The Disney adventure is about a comic book writer who becomes his creation and fights the KGB. Condor Man was played by Michael Crawford, who was also Broadway's first Phantom of the Opera. Uh, excuse me? Uh, I think the first superhero parody movie was actually 1966's Batman with Adam West. Funny or not funny, my super ex-girlfriend. Not funny. Wasted an hour and a half of my life, never get that back. What do you think was funnier, Blank Man or Meteor Man? Meteor Man. Funny or not funny, Mystery Man. Mystery Man is definitely more funny. That movie has, there's a lot of misfires in there, but there's some absolutely brilliant stuff. Like Mystery Men, The Specials is another super friend style ensemble hero team. This one includes Thomas Hayden Church, Rob Lowe, and Jamie Kennedy. Now, the film was made by Craig Mazin, who just directed Superhero Movie. Are you going to go see Superhero Movie? Maybe I'm too much of a purist, but um, I might have to wait on that one. Too soon? Maybe too soon for an X Men 3 parody? We need some time. Exactly. What about Sky High? No. Sky High is not only a parody of superhero movies, it's a parody of 1980s high school movies. It has two of the kids in the hall and Bruce Campbell. You're going to tell me that's not funny? It wasn't funny. All right, no accounting for taste. In 1983, Alan Arkin starred as Captain Invincible in an Australian comedy called The Return of Captain Invincible. He's an alcoholic superhero who has to be rehabilitated so he can fight Mr. Midnight, a Nazi super genius played by Christopher Lee. Would you, do you want to see it now? Shh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm still out. Okay, so. what if I told you it's a musical with songs by the writer of Rocky Horror? Now that sounds interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. I've got some shopping to do now. Oh, next time you'll play Superman.